Hi, I'm Bharat, Vice President, Solution Architect, part of the Solution Engineering team here at Crow. Today, I would like to demonstrate how you can use our free detection maturity assessment template to understand your current detection coverage, identify gaps, and prioritize them for implementation. We recommend a five-step methodology to perform the assessment, and the template I'm going to demonstrate today will follow the same methodology. Let's dive straight into it. The first tab gives you an overview of the progress you've made throughout the five steps. You can come back to this after completing each step to get a summary of your current progress. The first step is used to determine what is my current coverage. In order to do this, review your existing security solutions and create a baseline of your current security controls. In this step, we are going to determine your current coverage based on defensive technologies used in your organization. There are a few options to choose from when it comes to this step. Ideally, you will go through each of these steps as each one offers different ways to get this kind of information. For the purpose of this demonstration, we're going to use option 1D where I will select relevant mitigations that are already in place. I will then mark this step as complete for this to be logged into the summary. In cases where you're not going to be using a particular sub-step, do not make a selection or input any value in this step, but still ensure to mark the step as complete as this will then update the overview tab of the template. Once you have completed all the steps in step one, the step one attack current coverage tab will automatically populate your current coverage based on the selections made in step 1a through step 1d. This will establish a baseline of your detection coverage. In the second step, we will identify the high priority TIDs that should be covered by your organization. This requires a good understanding of the threats against your organization. There are a number of ways to begin this process. Here are a few recommendations to get you started. For this example, we're going to use option 2B, where you can type an industry, geography, a threat actor group, and the relevant rows will be automatically highlighted. Simply select yes from the drop down in the include in scope column for the threat actors you would like to include in your scope. This will automatically update the TIDs relevant to the threat actor in selected TID box at the top. If you're using NIST as a framework for your security strategy, you can also use option 2E tab where you can enter the TIDs that can be covered by specific control IDs you're looking to implement. And as with each sub-step, make sure you mark the step as complete for the information to be logged in the summary tab at the beginning. As with step 1, we will see the final tab in this step shows a summary of the TIDs that you should be covered against. In step 3, you will be able to identify the gaps in your coverage based on the current security controls you have implemented. This is done by overlaying TIDs in step 1 and step 2. This should give you a starting point to begin the process of improving your detection coverage maturity. Step 4 is all about treatment plan for the gaps identified in Step 3. In this tab, you will see the TIDs you have yet to have coverage for laid out in the table. Each TID will have the following options available as a treatment plan. Create a new detection invest in technology, or risk accepted. Depending on your risk appetite, select an appropriate treatment option from the drop-down. Once the change has been implemented, change the task completed column to yes. Do this for all the three IDs in the table until you have either accepted the TID as a risk or mitigated the risk from the TID. You will then see your renewed coverage in the next tab, which is step 5 as per our recommendation. Once you have completed all the steps, you can get an overview of your current assessment in the overview tab. To 
So that is are continuously evolving in the way they target organizations. And it is important to update your security strategies to keep up with this ever-changing threat landscape. Download our free detection maturity assessment template today to stay on top of your threat coverage. Remember, while MITRE offers an extensive knowledge base of offensive techniques and maps them to relevant defensive techniques, it is not an exhaustive list. You will need more tailored insight into your custom threat landscape and consistent processes to address your unique threat detection and response gaps. Crown has vast expertise in this area, drawn down from 3,000 plus incident response engagements that we perform globally. The intelligence we gather from these engagements is used to inform our managed detection response service, incident response service, risk advisory service, and offensive security services. If you're interested to learn more about how Kroll's cybersecurity services can support your strategy, then please feel free to contact us today. Thank you for your time.